Health experts have been warning of a triple-demic this winter. The combo of COVID, the flu, and RSV all have the potential for serious health risks in children. I'm joined now by Dr. Dara Cass, Regional Director of the United States Department of Health and Human Services, to talk signs, symptoms, and what we can do to prevent the spread. Dr. Dara Cass, thanks so much for being with us today. We are still so early on in these winter weather or cold weather weeks, and we're already seeing evidence of what health experts were warning is this triple-demic. Just explain what's happening right now. So what's happening right now is we're seeing an increase in cases of not just COVID, uh, but also RSV and the flu. And we're seeing cases earlier than we had previously seen them, although we're still not seeing more cases than we had in previous years. Are we seeing patients be infected with both at the same time, or is it just that all three of these viruses are kind of descending on us all at once? So it is true that it is possible to be infected with more than one of these viruses. Uh, we had seen previously that people had the flu and COVID at the same time, and unfortunately it is possible to have RSV and COVID as well, or flu and, um, and RSV. We are really more seeing just the number of people infected with a respiratory virus uh, really uh, increase at this time earlier than we expected, not really as many people getting more than one at the same time. I think the one that remains the most misunderstood or there's just a lack of real understanding of what it is, is RSV. What are the symptoms that people should be looking for and are they different in children versus adults? Yeah, so RSV is not a new virus. This is a virus that especially parents of young children, especially parents of young children who have lung disease, think about every single winter. Uh, it's a respiratory virus that is, like I said, well known. It has no vaccine uh, currently, and it's basically a respiratory virus that causes children specifically to have difficulty breathing um, where they have something called retractions if they're very affected. So uh, they have a difficult time getting air in and they work harder to breathe. And that difficulty in breathing is what brings them them to a doctor or the hospital and we really help them breathe in the hospital with things like nasal oxygen and support. What are the signs to look for to know that your child might be struggling with breathing? Yeah, so this is something that I think a lot of parents uh, already know, but will reinforce it, that if your child is having a difficult time breathing, so you see on their chest, their ribs when they breathe, or if they're very sleepy, or if they're having difficulty keeping down fluids, if they're dehydrated, you should call your doctor or you can go to your local emergency department. It's always important to be cautious if you're worried about your child's breathing, because this is something that we see uh, regularly and we know how to treat it. Uh, what we're hearing from folks on the ground is that RSV, RSV is happening in adults too, and there's not necessarily the same testing for it. What should a person do to mitigate spreading RSV? How contagious is it? And that same question for the other viruses. So again, so we know how to stop viruses from spreading. We've gotten actually particularly good at that over the past few years. It's the same thing as it was for COVID or for the flu. The difference here obviously is that flu and COVID both have updated vaccines that you should prepare yourself with now before you were to get infected further into the winter. But no matter what, if you find yourself having difficulty breathing, a cough, congestion, you should take anti-inflammatories you know, like Motrin or Tylenol, you know, stay home if you're sick. You know, if you wanna go into a space like a supermarket and you're not feeling well, it's okay to wear a mask. Realizing that it's about us trying to stop the infection in other people and also realizing that we hope the same consideration from them to us. So masking, staying home when you're sick, all things that we've, I think, practiced and gotten good at, but maybe some people are, are forgetting those are the basics. Dr. Dara Cass, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.